Okay, for freezing protection, I've got a trouble light here hooked up aiming at some plastic pipes in a rural cabin, and I want to prevent them from freezing. So this light is securely hooked down, uh, and I've got it hooked up to an extension cord, but if I let this run all the time, burn up a lot of electricity. So what we've got is a cool gizmo called a thermostatically controlled outlet, and this just simply plugs in an outlet. It has two plugs, and it turns on and off up to 15 amps. And I'm only going to use this for a little bit less than an amp because it's a 100 watt bulb. And so it turns on at 2 degrees C, boil, or freezing at 0 C, that's 35 F. It turns off at 7 C, that's 45 F. So it says it's for heat tape, tank de-icers, heat lamps, engine heaters. And I'm in the deep south here so I'm not using really an engine heater. But a lot of what looks searching on the internet and to go up in there and try to go through and wrap those pipes is almost an impossibility and what we did years ago is just leave these lamps on uh, for the few weeks it gets really cold and that's just kind of wasteful so I end up buying these actually on the internet and I would have bought these locally I went to Home Depot I went to Lowe's I went to a bunch of hardware stores couldn't find any of these so I apologize if anybody's got these in stock locally, but it's a model 2C, 2C3, and these are made in Plymouth, Indiana. 1800 watts, 15 amps. And you can go ahead and hook this up. They hook heat, tamp, heat tapes, lamps, and everything. But it's kind of simple and dumb because it's just a little, you use it in a line. So what you want to do is make sure you plug this in, make sure the light is turned on, make sure your light is secure so it's not going to go ahead and get hit by anything, and then you put this in series. Now if you want to test this, what you can do is you can go ahead and put this in the freezer, that's what I did, and pull it out cold. I actually put the extension cord and this thing in the freezer, then I plugged it in real quick, took it out, and it ran, and once it cooled, warmed up to you know 45 F then it went ahead and shut off so I've got confidence this works but this is just a simple and dumb way to robust way to go ahead and heat up some plastic pipes or something and they were about 13 bucks I think 12 to 13 bucks is what I found them on the internet and it says yeah 15 amps 120 volts UL listed Again, it's a model, what is this, model TC-3, called a thermal cube, thermal cube. And I searched all along for something, and these are just reasonably priced, 12 bucks, 12, 13 bucks, I think is a great idea. Because you can just rig up a light, make sure it's secure, make sure the light turns on, and you just put this in series here and then you're good to go. And you want to make sure your light here is not going to go ahead and melt anything. So you got to get combustibles away. I'm going to go up there. I've got to cut that piece of paper away, but this is not all that uh you know, it's that's actually about 2 feet away. So I'm pretty safe. There's another area we I've got one of these. I had to go in there with a vacuum and, and get around and get a lot of stuff out of there. Uh make sure it's all clean. The light's robust. Now, if it's something really critical, you can have the bulb go ahead and burn out. So, got to beware. You might want to have two of these in certain situations if it's really critical. But these are fairly brand new bulbs, so I've got a decent amount of confidence, hopefully. Okay, I've got it plugged in. This is the input, of course. This is the output. And I'm all good to go. And again, you, you, you want to make sure that this is set to be on. So, what you do is connect this up to here bypass the unit make sure that uh, the light is actually on then it works something really critical you may want to use two lights just so you get some redundancy